The existence of aliens or extraterrestrials has long been one of the great mysteries of the world. According to a 2015 survey conducted by YouGov.com, about 54% of America, 56% of Germany, and 52% of the UK believe in extraterrestrial intelligent life. That being said, history seems to indicate that aliens may have visited our world in ancient times, aiding us at the brink of civilization. There are cave paintings like this one from Australia that may be up to 5,000 years old that some interpret as creatures wearing spacesuits. Or this painting from 8,000 BC in the Sahara Desert that illustrates what appears to be spacemen leading natives in a line. Here's a drawing of a Mayan carving that shows a man attached to what some construe as an oxygen source as he operates controls in what appears to be a spaceship. Other fascinating objects include this hieroglyph from the Temple of Seti I that dates back to the 14th century BC. The glyph appears to contain hovering spacecrafts and modern day flying machinery such as helicopters. Additionally, a funerary marker from roughly 100 BC shows a woman presenting what some consider a laptop with USB ports. And finally, here is a hieroglyph from Hathor Temple in Egypt that shows workers operating what appeared to be enormous light bulbs, perhaps explaining how artists were able to see when drawing elaborate hieroglyphs inside their tomb. But beyond these small scattered references to alien and modern technology, there are entire cities, civilizations, and architectural undertakings that make us question if we have always been alone. What follows are the best mysteries that history has to offer in regards to ancient aliens. The first mystery we'll discuss is the Dogen and Sirius B. The Dogen are a tribal group in West Africa, south of Timbuktu in the Republic of Mali that settled sometime between the 10th and 13th centuries. In the 1930s and 1940s, the studies of French anthropologists Marcel Griot and Germain Dieterlin revealed that the Dogen knew a surprising amount of modern astronomy. According to their studies, the Dogen believed these things, all of which are scientific facts. The planets orbit the sun. The Earth and other planets rotate on their axis. Saturn has a ring. Jupiter has four moons. And finally, that the star Sirius is actually part of a double star system containing a star called Sirius B that has a 50-year orbit and is invisible to the naked human eye. Knowledge of how planets orbit would not require advanced technology. However, to know about Saturn's ring and Jupiter's moon would require remarkable eyesight and an extremely clear sky. But what is truly astonishing is the Dogen's knowledge of the star Sirius B especially when you consider the fact that scientists were only able to discern information about Sirius B with the use of quantum mechanics, relativity, and advanced telescopes. This leads some to believe that the Dogen were taught about Sirius B by a far more advanced civilization. Dogen mythology reportedly speaks of them being visited by a set of beings referred to as the Nomo, who according to author Robert Temple, are amphibious beings from the Sirius star system. Though, some people have other theories such as Robert Burnham, who believes that the Dogen could have known about Sirius B due to extraordinary eyesight. He theorizes that with a 10-inch reflecting telescope in clear skies, Sirius B could have been seen. However, if this were true, the Dogen would have also been able to see Uranus, Neptune, and other cosmic observations, which they did not. Another doubter is author Carl Sagan, who believes that the Dogen's cosmic knowledge is suspiciously consistent with an informed person from the 1930s and 40s. Sagan posits that the French anthropologists that visited during that time and broke the story of the Dogen merely entwined Sirius B into the Dogen's existing mythology to make an interesting story. The second mystery we'll discuss is the ancient city of Tiwanaku in Bolivia, a city that was high above sea level, roughly 13,000 feet. The people of Tiwanaku utilize massive monolithic stones that weigh up to 450 tons. How the people of Tiwanaku move these enormous stones remains a mystery. Some suggest the stones were pulled along logs, but others believe aliens may have aided with anti-gravity methods. Also discovered on the site were 200 elongated skulls, possibly the heads of shamans whose heads were bound to that shape in an effort to amplify their ability to communicate with deities, conceivably. These shamans elongated their skulls to emulate the deities that visited them. Perhaps the main mystery of Tiwanaku is what instruments the people used to carve their stones to achieve such exactness without the use of power tools. For example, there are H-blocks that interlock in a detailed and sophisticated manner that require no mortar. On site, there is also a calendar that some believe dates millions of years back and made by visitors from outer space. 
For good measure, near Tiwanaku's Gate of the Sun is a wall decorated with heads that some believe could be aliens. The third mystery is arguably the strongest indicator of ancient aliens, the Pyramids of Giza. The three Giza pyramids were constructed between 2550 and 2490 BC in Egypt. They were built as tombs for the pharaohs meant to emulate and honor the gods. The first and largest pyramid, also referred to as the Great Pyramid, was built around 2550 BC for the pharaoh Khufu and is around 481 feet tall. Each side of the pyramid was 756 feet, and the area of each side is 5.5 acres. The angles at the base of the pyramid are nearly perfect 90 degree angles. All of this suggests the architects had a high understanding of mathematics. That being said, here are some things that make me question who or what those architects may have been. The Great Pyramid was constructed of roughly 2.3 million stones, each weighing between 2.5 to 15 tons. In order to finish the Great Pyramid in 23 years, the workers would have to set a block every 2.5 minutes every day of the week. The Egyptians did not have wheels, pulleys, or work animals, so how could they have lifted and transported these enormous stones with that kind of efficiency? Some have suggested a ramp structure, but it would have had to be massive, and no evidence of this construction has been found. Additionally, the Great Pyramid is perfectly aligned with Magnetic North. It is unknown how the Egyptians could possibly have known this, though some theorize it had to do with observing the cosmos. The perimeter of the Great Pyramid when divided by twice the height allegedly results in the number pi, up to its 15th digit. This may also demonstrate a suspicious knowledge of mathematics. The pyramids of Giza are also considerably well preserved in comparison to other pyramids around the world despite the pyramids of Giza being centuries older. Some have claimed this is due to the fact that they were upkept over the past hundreds of years, though others believe it is a sign of unearthly preservation. Finally, the three pyramids align with the pattern of Orion's belt, a fact that some consider an impossible feat for the Egyptians to accomplish, unless of course they were building based on instructions.